WHS, my name is Elisa Stone. And I am Adam Dunlap, and we will be your host for The Rock today. Hey Elisa, do you remember last Thursday when the drumline played cop drama at lunch? Yeah, that was awesome. They've been working on it a while. Why do you ask? Well, last Saturday they went to Bellingham and performed for a judge. Sounds awesome. I wish I could have seen it. Don't worry. Ryan captured the event on video. Check it out! Okay, so we've been working on cop drama. <laughs> I had to do that. Take two. <laughs> we've been working on cop drama since, uh, I think, October. Uh, right after, well, actually, at the end of football season, we started cop drama. Um, so football season takes a lot of time for us to prepare our music and our drumline stuff to make sure that we are ready to sound good in public. But then we have to switch gears and be ready for this competition, which happens in early February or late January every year. So uh, almost every day of the week we've been working on cop drama uh, really diligently. Um, and they did a really, really good job. We have yet to find out the results, but they're all really proud of how they did. And it's a good energy. They played really, really well. Oh, really? Okay, so just so I don't show that much emotion usually. Yeah, you know, have you ever noticed? Okay. <laughs> it'll come out of the back. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it might happen at the back of the week. But after this was done, I could hardly contain myself. I wanted to run out here and scream at the top of my lungs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was very proud. It was very good, okay? You did a really nice yeah, job. Right. It was, well, <laughs> when you work this hard. Goodbye! I got to fill up! Okay, okay. Good job, Bob. Good job, Good job, Bob. He's so soft. When you work that hard, guys, when you work that hard and it comes out that well. Holy cow, there's nothing that beats that. Okay, good job. <laughs> that was sweet! It was indeed. I had no idea that the drumline even went to competitions. All that drumming made me hungry. Too bad the hawk stops closed. Now that you mention it, I could go, surf go for some food right now. Have you ever wondered what happens behind the counter of the Hawk Stop? I totally have! Check it out. Every day during both lunches, a group of students, under the guidance of Ms. Wireman, run the student store, also known as the Hawk Stop. These students perform the jobs necessary to keep the Hawk Stop running and to make a profit. Well, right now I'm the front runner, so I give people candy and I tell Chris what they ordered and I tell Josh what pizza they're getting and I give out muffins also. Well, my job is to manage the pizza, and we get it from Westside Pizza, so I have to call the manager. You know, just you never know when something goes wrong. Man. <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do. Always my multiple times. Yeah! Uh, I, I do muffins. The muffins. These students are learning what it takes to properly run a business. They also learn many concepts of economics and learn how to work together as a team. Many of these students are also involved in DECA, and many of the profits from Hawkstock go to support that club. So remember, if you want to support DECA, support the Hawkstock. Hey Adam, what's fast, cool, and full of Hawks? The Hawkstock, duh. Well, that too. But I was thinking the boys' basketball team. Roll segment.
Man, that was intense. Yeah, I think I need to calm down a little bit. Well, maybe a little information from the man will help you calm down. Let's give it a try. Welcome to 60 Seconds with the Man. Better? Much. Even though that was informational and calming, I'm still kind of overwhelmed from this hosting the rock business. Yeah, I don't think people know what it's really like. Well, good thing we have a, a segment to explain that. There is a lot more to the rock than what meets the eye. To start, there are three teams. Red team, blue team, and green team. Every week, two of the teams alternate between rock segments while the third team spends their time working on independent films. For every episode, one student is deemed the producer, and they oversee the segments, choose the hosts, write the script, and make sure that everything meshes together without going overtime. Then we have approximately nine days to shoot, edit, and polish our segments. On Thursday, we load our segments into the TriCaster, make sure they all work, and set up the set. We have to position the lights, plug in cameras, load the script into the teleprompter, attach microphones, configure the green screen, and usually we end up re-exporting our segments because the TriCaster crashes. Once everything is set, we try to run the whole show from start to finish to practice the transitions and to time its length. Then, when it's finally 2 o'clock, we go live to bring the rock to you. Sometimes things go wrong, but usually we manage to pull it off. Well, that's what happens on The Rock. That's all the time we have for you today. From our rock to yours. Have a superb day. Just to